G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back for a weekly free instant tournament. There's an 8-board BBO tournament that you can play by going Solitaire Bridge, then weekly free. So let's jump straight in, see what we can actually do here. So, unbalanced 18 count, 3-1, 3-6. Going to just start with one club. I was thinking maybe rebidding three clubs, maybe something like three no trump rebid. Two spades, take out double. I'm just going to jump to three no trumps here. i got a double stopper here. Happy to play game. Uh, my partner's only really promising hearts. and Yeah. Okay. Three no. What do we got here? So my 18 points. Dummy is nine points. So there are 13 points missing. They look like they're probably split. And spades are also split 6-2. So what I'm trying to do here is, like, this bidding's quite revealing, so I just want to build a picture of what I think the missing hands are like. So when I get really revealing bidding, I like to do that first, then come up with a plan. Other times I like to come up with a plan and then try and adjust it based on what I know from the bidding. Um, but here I just, I've got a good idea of what I think is going on. Anyway, I've got two spades, two hearts, and a diamond. Uh, I probably want to work on clubs, and that would involve leading clubs from the north hand twice. But entries to the north are also somewhat limited. Uh, we don't know what's going on with uh, the diamond suit, whether west has found just a passive lead here, or if they're leading away from the king. And west probably has the queen jack of spades. I don't know who has the ace of clubs. Um, I probably only have two entries to north in diamonds. But let's just play low and see what happens here. I expect to see the king, probably. No. Mate, oh. <laughs> I didn't really consider, like, winning this diamond this cheaply. I was sure I would see the uh, king or the ten from east. But maybe I should have put in the eight of diamonds? Because I, I want to be in that north hand. By playing the three and letting this win, I'm sort of forced into returning another diamond, which if ace is just ducked from, like, king ten fifth, it, that's brutal. But it's kind of too tricky for ace to duck from king ten fifth, I think. So I'm just going to win and return a diamond. All right. Don't know what I'm doing. I st definitely should have put the nine of diamonds on. Leave my myself the chance of taking a diamond finesse if I wanted to. But now it looks like West has uh, like six spades and four diamonds. I don't think the club suit's going to break particularly likely. But I want to keep an eye out to see if West plays the ten or the jack of clubs. Because I'm going to play a club to the king. And then I might cross back over, cash the diamonds, and lead another club up. Okay, so because I think diamonds are breaking something like 6-4, then I want to uh, we'll cash this heart and play a diamond over. Okay, so there's 3-3. Six, three, three. The robots really made this... Uh, suit uh, unbelievably easy to play and let's just cash this last diamond and we get a spade discard an ace discarded a heart and now we just play another club and east did well hopping up here they obviously should but if I, they had uh, ace jack fourth I could have finessed here which would that actually achieve anything if I play a club to the nine it doesn't actually do anything, does it? So I don't know why I was thinking of doing that. Uh, like, uh, if I play a club to the nine, I would have still had two club losers. So, uh, yeah, that didn't really matter. And I have two club losers now anyway. Um, yeah. So just knock out the other club. I said knock out the other club. There we go. And make sure I've got a spade to get back to my hand, and the last two are mine. Um, so I don't know why I was talking all about that ace-jack fourth. It was completely irrelevant. We had two losers in the suit anyway. And 
Ninety-two percent. That is extremely generous. Uh, all I did was um, play low and then just. Re I didn't unblock the Ace of Hearts straight away. I don't think. But just leading towards my clubs, I think, is of vital importance. Um, but on this hand, it didn't even matter. You can lead a low one and then. Uh, if you let the ten score, if Ace just ducks this, they're still in trouble. But yeah, just crossing to dummy to keep returning it, I think, is useful. Um, but I didn't do that well. Um, first board, like my thinking was just a bit sloppy. Worried about a club suit. Realized I couldn't have picked it up like that anyway. Um, might have been relevant if we had like uh, if I had one more club in my hand. What whether I should do something like that? Um, nah. <laughs> I'm just talking garbage now. Uh, but 92%, very generous. All I had to do was lead towards my clubs. Uh, we're missing the ace and the jack-10, so hoping that the ace was on side uh, was useful. Anyway, uh, I'll take it. Um, moving on to board number two. Uh, 17.64, so I'll start with one diamond. And just put one spade. What's two spades? 19 to 21. Right, the robots play strong jumps here. Um, before that, I wanted to jump to three diamonds to show extra points. And it does that. So, like, six no trump. Cool. Uh, okay. Like, um, what do I need from my partner to make Grand Slam? So... So I've got, I need them to have the Ace of Diamonds, Ace King of Hearts, or Ace of Hearts, King of Clubs, Queen Jack of Spades, or something along those lines. I think that's probably a bit much. I think six diamonds might have been a good, like, this is just a really sloppy way to bid this Grand Slam, but, uh, or the Slam at least. Club lead, and now I get to throw one club, uh, one spade on the jack of clubs and one spade on the extra heart. So making 13 now. And yeah. It's not. It's a. Oh. Like. Nah, it's a bad grand if we don't get it. Uh, don't get a uh, club lead. But 96%. Um, uh, people just jumped to 4 no over that. Someone only really made 12 tricks. They. <laughs> I got one lead and I claimed, and someone got the same lead and then managed to get one fewer trick. Uh, other people just bidding three no trumps over that, or. Still getting to six diamonds. Um, but here I just thought show my diamonds, show my spades, jump in diamonds, show a few extra values. Thought my partner could bid something like four diamonds slam tray. And then we can sort of key card, find out we've got all, all the key cards. Uh, seven diamonds is a really good spot. Um, that's where you want to be. Seven no trump, not so much, but seven diamonds is right on point, And you really want to be able to get there. So you north should just agree diamonds, start slam trying rather than just jump to six no trumps. Anyway, uh, board number three. Uh, we've got a 2, 3, 2, 6, 14 count. Going to treat this as balanced. I've got a six card suit, so it's worth uh, similar amounts. Two hearts, hearts and a minor. Two spades non forcing. Three hearts competitive. Um, I don't have a spade fit per se. Uh, we might have one. Uh, just wondering if I should compete to three anyway. I don't think so. But my partner having a short... Oh, wow. My partner's got short hearts. Um, looks like four spades could be a good sacrifice. My partner's got queen jack to five spades. Um, then we've got... Five spades and a heart. Uh, no. I've got three defensive tricks. Partner could have potentially sacrificed if they wanted to. 
I've got a void there. So I do have uh, two spade tricks. Um, my partner led the three. Um, if I cash my ace of spades, if I drop the doubleton queen, I'm probably giving up on my chances here. Although I could then try switching to a diamond or switching to a club, depending on what's going on. Yeah. So my partner had five small spades. Um, okay, so if I switch... If I switch to a club... Um, Alright, how many points did Dummy have? Dummy had uh, seven, nine high card points opposite my 14, so 17 missing. Um, West has... Yeah, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Um, West has... Probably five hearts to the King Queen. Uh, probably five diamonds. They can't have five clubs. And the robots tend to have a five card minor whenever they show that. Um, Alright. So if they've got the Ace of Clubs. So let's say that my partner, that the robot does have five card diamond suit. Then they could throw one diamond away on the jack of spades, one diamond away on the king of clubs. I've got the ace of diamonds, but uh, I don't think anything's going away. So the club trick might vanish, but the uh, um, diamond won't. So. so down one they go. Well, I've only got a four card heart suit. And they've got the rest of the tricks. But I think this one should be pretty good. I don't think everyone's bidding uh, game. We got our four caching tricks. It's kind of weird. I would have thought I might have talked them out of it. 42%. What? Four clubs. So if we just open one club, we get to compete to four clubs. Um, all right. Yeah, um, I'm not sure I would have competed to four clubs with this sort of hand. Um, I, I guess I might have bid three clubs, which got there, but... Four hearts? Okay. Um, yeah, not, mu not much more to add to that. I would have thought that the opponents would have just stopped in three hearts uh, fairly frequently on, on hands like this. Four spades has a club loser... Two diamonds and two spades. Not a good contract. So glad I didn't make that sacrifice. Would have worked out really, really poorly. Um, but 42%. Oh, it's okay. Um, and we'll move on to board number four. I think the, the main thing there is very often with a six card minor, I'm very happy to treat this as a balanced hand. So six, three, two, twos. This hand is worth the similar ones to 15 to 17, so happily opened one no trump. Um, kind of surprised at how the auction panned out, though. Um, 16 highs. Legitimate one no trump opening. Stamen, so two diamonds and no. Three no. <laughs> that's a that's a really really passive club lead there. So we've got f we've got nine tricks. We've got five clubs, uh, the two red aces, and the ace king of spades. So now we just need to try and work out how to play for more, which looks like we want to play on spades. Um, so the question is, do I want to take the finesses now, or do I want to run all my clubs first? And I'm thinking I want to try and make them make some discards. This might mean that if I go ace of spades, spade towards the jack and it loses and I get back in, I might not be convinced about finessing to the nine. But if I go ace of spades, spade to the jack and it loses early on, uh, and they switch to a red suit, I also won't be happy taking that finesse again. So let's just uh, rattle this off and keep an eye on what's going, Ma mainly paying attention to the spade suit, ace to 
Already off to the races, discarding a spade. And West did lead from a three-card suit. So one spade, one heart. Okay, so East has now thrown two spades. And uh, West has thrown a diamond and a heart. East has thrown two spades, a diamond and a heart. So just keeping rough track of what I've discarded. Uh, so if I manage to set up the spades, I can throw away a diamond or a heart away. Um, I'll probably throw a heart from my hand, but keep the uh, length. I meant to catch the ace of spades first. Okay, so at this stage, uh, all the spades are going to come in. I've got four spade tricks and my two aces. So I get to make one more discard. So I'm going to lose one, at least one trick. So I want to try and make one more. So just duck a diamond here. Yeah, I should have ducked a heart. When I ducked a diamond, I cut communication uh, to my hand, which meant now I have to cash this. So that was poor. Sixty-eight percent. Um, so a few subtle mistakes there I could have made. I well, I did make. Um, could I have when I played a spade to the jack? So at this stage. Both of them have three of each red suit. Um, if I played a heart and I ducked it, whichever suit they return, I've still got an entry to my hand, um, which means I've got better prop better chances for squeezes, um, but not fantastic ones. Did anyone make an over trick? No. So pretty flattish board there. Moving on to board number five. So here. Powerhouse. Uh, 19 highs, 4, 5, 2, 2. Uh, I'll start with one heart. And just bid four spades. Okay. That is a extremely generous lead. Um, I still might not be making this. So... King of Hearts is probably from King Doubleton or Singleton King, uh, giving West Jack 10 9 fifth. I've got two diamond losers and a club loser. I could take a club finesse. Um, I also have to do some roughing, trumping in. Um, so if I draw trumps. If I draw trumps and hearts break, let's go ace of spades, see if, uh, don't see any of the jack or ten. Uh, let's, one more spade here. Okay, they're four nil. Four one. Take a club finesse. Okay. I get to trump in with a heart. This is okay because they're getting some tricks there anyway. Um, I definitely have two diamond losers and a bunch of heart losers. I can draw the trump and trump one. Or I can just rough and get over roughed. They're both the same. Um, those hearts aren't going to win. And down two. So one will probably be a poor score. I don't think everyone's bidding for, like 46 percent seems like a normal thing to be in but uh, yeah some people just bid two spades for whatever reason uh, even three spades got a, uh, a bid in there but uh, a few people went down three um, so just a little bit of care i guess to make sure that you untangle the clubs uh, even with the singleton king of hearts lead that it was like well i don't have a heart loser off the top really but uh there's a bad sign that things are breaking badly when they, they lead that. Uh, so, currently, currently in rank 1 with 69%, good position to be in. 
Let's get into uh, board number six. Uh, two, four, one, six. Um, 16 count. Start with one club. Try and show my hearts next. Okay. So, possible options. Four hearts. Other options. Three diamonds. Splinter. I think a three diamond splinter is pretty good. It's like 19 to 21 total points. I got 16 high card points and three for my singleton and one for a doubleton spade. I don't need much to make slam. Like if partner has ace king fourth heart, we're in the market here. Um, I wouldn't usually play the three diamond splinter as this strong either um, because I think it's just forcing to three hearts. But the robots play it as forcing to four hearts. Um, and they just weren't interested. And rightly so. Their hand is absolute garbage for that. Um, so I've got a diamond loser and three heart losers. Uh, they're probably going to cash the uh, diamond, but I want to lead hearts up towards my hand. Uh, entries to the north hand, again, severely limited. I could lead a low heart towards the nine, or I could lead the ten of hearts. I think keeping the queen nine of hearts together is useful, because I'm not expecting this first heart to win, but I want to get up there, and I have to do some trumping. So I want to be able to like lead a heart towards the nine later. Okay, 10, Jack, Queen, King. So I'm still missing A7, 5. Um, so Diamond has now a club. Uh, this this looks o ominous in that uh, Eastal show out. No! Like I thought they might not cover the jack unless they had a singleton jack. Um, but here, heart back. And now we've just got the uh, rest of the tricks. Uh, not the rest of the tricks. We, we, we lose one. But uh, we've still got, got that. 85%. Some people got the 3-0. They just open 3-0 trumps. That's... Bit outlandish, someone opened one no trump. Again, very strange. Other people got two, four hearts, or even six hearts. So jumping straight to four no trumps is not my thing. You want to incorporate partner like more than that. You don't need much from partner, but the splinter bid works perfectly here. And your partner says, Go away, I do not like my hand. And then we just needed a favorable layout to even make four. So pretty happy with there. Running at 72%. One, uh, two boards to play. I was already thinking that I was nearly done here. Uh, but no. Uh, one no trump again. Okay, partner. Like, partner has, without fail, put down some awkward and bad dummies for me. I got two spade winners, and we got the three of clubs lead. Looks like I want to work on diamonds, and I'm just going to leave my club holding intact. So I'll just hop up there because I don't, like, I guess spades is okay. Like, I'm not sure if I wanted them to continue clubs, hearts, or spades. They're all pretty bad. Um, but let's just try and work on these diamonds. So I'm missing um, six diamonds. Uh, and one question people might have is, should you finesse the ten or not? And it's best just to play smaller the queen, smaller the eight, king jack, I think. But my diamonds are all good. And time to cash out. Well, I've got four diamonds, two four diamonds, two spades, and a club. Let's just cash some of these, see what what comes of it. Just gonna cash the spade and now just exit a spade, hope that a heart comes good. 
Seems very, very unlikely, but... Uh, yeah, they get the uh, last couple of tricks. Wow, one note making one, just 46%. Ah, if you open the diamond, the opponent's overcalled a no-trump. So this is just an extremely normal one no-trump opening. Uh, just 16 points and a five-card suit. So not sure why people open one no uh, didn't open one no-trump, but 46%, uh, I'll take it. Uh, still running at 68%, so this is going well. I don't think I've done anything good yet. It's just like avoiding mistakes. That is so much a bridge. Um, it's remarkable. But uh, board number eight. One heart, three diamonds. Here we've got 12, 17 high card points and a fit. This is lots of aces and kings. I really don't need much for my partner. I'm going to start with a cubid. And I just want a bit slam, really. Yeah, that's better. I, I like one or four key cards. Sweet. It's probably pretty pushy. Well, it's lay down. Uh, unless East wins the Ace of Hearts and gives their partner a uh, diamond rough. Um, or if there's a spade rough happening. So, I don't want East to hop up with the Ace of Hearts, so let's pretend like I've got a Singleton Diamond on it there. And just lay low heart. Okay, I can handle that. That's fine. Okay, so at this stage they're just going to... What have I done? <laughs> Um, uh, the 4 nil break did cause me some grief, right? And that I still have a diamond loser. My, my brain has just gone to mush. Absolute mush. Oh, wow, like... What on earth was I doing? Like, why did I not think, like, Jack of Diamonds, small king. And now I had this deep diamond loser that I have to get rid of. Because I was worried about East giving their partner a diamond rough, so they're trying to hide that. But I have a diamond tr trick I have to get rid of. <laughs> My head is just absolute mush today. I can probably still make it from this position. Um, I just need to set up the clubs with three roughs, I think. And my club suit's now good. <laughs> God, I have no idea what I was doing here. Yeah, that's still got a hundred percent for it, but by God, was I trying to go off? Um, like fantastic slam, just yeah, just have to avoid the rough there. Um, here, my hand was all like aces and kings, and we had a fit. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I wanted to make a less committal slam try than this, but the robots don't have particularly good methods. So I just went in and just key carded and bit it. And somehow with all my trying to go down, I still managed to make it. Two other people bid slam and went down. And someone even went off in five. That, that was strange. Um, but, oh god. <laughs> Jack of Diamonds, and I put the king on it, creating my diamond list. That was, yeah. 
that was a special one. Um, I just said it like it's it's better to be lucky than good. Here, yeah, just I didn't do anything skillful at all. Um, I think my bidding was on point. That was about it. Um, didn't mess up in the anything in the bidding, but my God, I was away with the fairies in the um, in the play of the hand. Uh, but uh, managed to avoid di disaster partway through the hand. I was like, oh yeah, came, somewhat came good. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.